Good morning, campers. Today we are going to be talking about the Fairy Washboard Haworthia. So, first let's talk about where it gets its name from. As you can see, hopefully, by these ridges here, it kind of looks like those old time washboards. And there's also this idea of a couple of cactus actually, and succulents and things like that. This is a Haworthia that there's a kind of fairy theme going through a couple of them. This is the washboard, so. You know, the little fairy, if it comes to your garden, it's going to have to wash its clothes somewhere. So somebody just decided, you know, let's call this one the washboard. There is a fairy castle as well, and there's other fairy things. And I'm sure they all are in some part of a fairy garden. So I've seen those advertised a lot, but I really don't know anything about it. Maybe one day I'll get educated and I'll make a video for you guys, but I, I just can't see myself doing that, you know. Anyway, let's get on to this Haworthia here. Now... As you can see, it's got this really awesome spiral pattern to it. It's kind of got this idea of a, uh, you know, like a sun that you draw. It's got points out on each end, something like that. A really beautiful, beautiful plant. And I'm just going to tell you this right now. Haworthia are the next big thing. I really do think they are. So it was Echeveria for a while and, you know, just cactus. But I think these guys here, I've seen them a lot everywhere. And I think they're just going to continue to grow in popularity. I think you guys are going to get a lot of success out of these as well. So let's talk about what you need to do to keep one of these guys alive. First, you need to keep it in porous soil. So if you go look at my soil video, I talk about the kind of soil you want. You can get a bag soil from your, uh, you know, Lowe's, Home Depot, something like that. That says cactus soil or succulent soil. Do not get regular potting soil and think that it's going to be able to let this survive. It will not survive. It will die. It will die a painful death. It will rot because it needs to be able, well, the soil needs to be able to drain so the water gets out. Now for these guys, they're good indoor because they don't really do well in bright light. I've noticed one thing, they do really well in dim light. The brighter the light, you start to see some problems with these guys. The ends start to burn off. They are very susceptible to getting burned. I think of some other things I want to talk about when it comes to this plant here. Um, I'm seeing them everywhere. You're going to really like the decision to get one of these. They look beautiful. I personally enjoy them. I have one at home. It's really nice. Um, as far as watering goes, you're going to want to check the soil. You're going to touch the soil and if it feels cool to touch, like this soil right here, this has been watered very recently, you're not going to water it. You want it to be very, very, very dry before you water it. And when you water it, you kind of want to soak it and you want it to come out the bottom. Like we talked about in the pots video, you're going to put them in a pot that has holes in the bottom. If you do not put them in a pot that has holes in the bottom, then the water cannot drain your, no matter what type of soil you put in it. So then your fairy washboard Haworthia is just going to die. You don't want that. I don't want that for you. Um, when it comes to planting them with other things, this is something that I've been asked about in real life, not really on the YouTube channel as much, but a good rule is that you want to plant plants together, oh goodness, you want to put plants together that are of the same variety and use the same type of soil, and they take the same type of light. So something that requires bright light is not going to fit in with this Haworthia here. It might look pretty, and that's the saddest thing I have to tell people, I think, personally. Sometimes it looks pretty, but it just can't work, you know? Maybe this Haworthia would look great next to a rose, but they need completely different things to survive. So when you're making your arrangements at home, think about that. Let me see if there's anything else going on with this plant that I want to tell you guys. Um, root system's pretty solid, you know. They're going to get bigger, and they get bigger, you know, obviously you up-pot them. And I'm hoping to show a video of exactly how to do that pretty soon. Catch you guys later. Please like and subscribe. Goodbye.